Hey yo, what's up? Maji here and welcome to another Monday Night Mix-Up and today we are back with Hua and we are going to be checking out their latest track called Home, Home, Home. So, yeah, this, uh, not gonna hold to any expectations. I can see the opening screen. Uh, so let's just go ahead and see what Hua has in store for us with this one, shall we? Okay, here we go. So yeah, this is what I can see right now. I don't want anything to be defined, nor can it be regulated. So, uh, expectations out the window. Let's just see what we're in for, shall we? Black and red. Ooh, this has a very epic feel to it already. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Didn't expect that. Interesting. Ooh. The imagery. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> wow! That went hard! And now it's letting up! This song so powerful. Wow. Mm. <laughs> the instrumental here. This part sounds so good. And we're acting up. Oh wow. Who are unframed. Unframed indeed. So that was Pom 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 by Wua and Wow. They went heavy in this one. It's just actually not too heavy. It's the chorus part that's heavy. But surprisingly, we get a bunch of light parts as well. 
like we'll talk about it during the second run through but like we get to go on this like rock and roll roller coaster <laughs> it just like hits you uh whew. hits you differently like throughout the song it has these like varying degrees of punchiness <laughs> And whew, I like how they sort of balance them, themselves out here in the song. It's not like it's, yeah, it's not like it's super heavy all the way. Like I said, there are some parts where uh, I think strategically they lighten up and it just feels so good <laughs> anyways <coughs> not sure who's standing out to me the most in this one probably Minso and Sora <laughs> actually uh, but yeah we'll see in the second run through anyways what else can I say about this 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 just caught me off guard it's definitely a new realm that was exploring like they had the potential for this before like the uh there's some parts I, I think in their music before that that made it feel like they were capable of this but <laughs> them doing a full blown out song like this is just Whoa, just, I wouldn't say unexpected, but it's just like, really nice that they're exploring this. Anyways, um, <laughs> running out of things to say, let's, let's actually just go to the second run through and see if we can point out some other things. I feel like, uh, there's sm some more specific stuff that I want to go through with this one. So yeah, let's hit replay. There we go. So first of all, we got like sort of a feel from this with all the red and black, right? Although this particular image here is mm, like uh, <coughs> uh, electric blue, which I guess becomes relevant later with, with all the technology that's also in the background. So wait, they they all have their own scenes, right? So we have like, what's the one before Sora? We have like Lucy in this room. Looks like a uh like a personal studio. I, I'm not sure what's on the screens behind her, or um like a monitoring room. There are holes on the side, like, not sure if those are like bullet holes or whatever. <laughs> then we get, yeah, Sarao in a room with all these, these screens. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry, what, oh, what was that? There's like a quick flash of something before it goes to... No, no, no. It, it wasn't a quick flash or something. It was just, it was just like dark in Huyun scene, and then the spotlight shines on her, with all these people in orange jumpsuits. I'm not sure if they're meant to represent like prisoners. At least that's how it would look like to west to a Western audience. But uh, the the jumpsuits that they're actually wearing. Actually, they don't look too much like jumpsuits. They look more like uh, raincoat hoodies. <laughs> I 
And then we have... Wait, that... That was Minso. Sorry, I, I'm apparently clicking too much. Just a second or so for Minso. So Minso is kind of like crowd surfing. Yeah. And then we have Nana in like a prison cell. So I'm pretty sure you guys know all the explanations for these scenes. Um, maybe they're all trapped in some way. And then they're gonna... They, they want to break free of this? I don't know. Get this epic intro. Okay, we get from that epic, like, choral intro, and then we get into this almost, like, uh irreverent light-hearted rap uh rap verse so <laughs> yeah the, the transition is like it kind of jars you so it goes from this so what you gonna be i'm playing major league yeah like the the epic the epic like orchestral instrumental just drops away and then we just get the barest like uh minimal beats actually this this part i think is like mostly bass and then yeah <laughs> uh, an irreverent rap verse also love lucy with this like reddish brown hair I, i'm really really digging the look like compared to her blonde hair before we get a bit more build up with the instrumental here okay did did Minsu and Wuyun just switch places? So we almost there with the people in the orange jumpsuits. Then suddenly Minso is here. Actually, that looks like there's a, like a portal up there, right? Or I think they're joining each other in their places, in their specific scenes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. This... Oh, this whole... Uh, first part of the chorus, it just... It just goes at you hard. Especially with the like, the... Uh, please don't get a, uh, come at me. I, I don't know instruments or that, or, but I think it's some sort of like what you call uh no, it's not even a shredding guitar. It's just like this like very rock kind of strumming on the guitar, on the electric guitar. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, so I actually only just paid some attention to the lyrics now. So when I first saw the title Pom Pom Pom, I was thinking like, is this gonna be some kind of cheerleading type of reference? And then, yeah, at the start of this reaction video, I saw the uh, the first screen, which is like, uh, 
uh, don't want to be defined or regu nor regulated, stuff like that. So like, okay, maybe it's not. But actually, the lyrics over here, it does reference it. They are cheering for themselves. Okay, okay. And yeah, like right now, it seems like they're they're in like dark, almost goth type versions of cheerleaders, I guess. Mm. Again with the irreverent rap, rap line. Okay, what was that? Her hand is bandaged, but it looks like she was holding someone else's hand that was bloody? Or she held someone else's hand? A hand that was bloody? That's why you have those marks going sideways. Is that it? Not quite sure. If any of you know what this this is, like, can't see it quite well. <laughs> Anyways. Nice high note there. Pom pom, I'm chewing me on. Ain't nobody is rooting for me. Mm. Pom pom, my game is mad strong. It can get him a chewing gun and only me. Okay, I like that. They're using their name as the like the uh what you call what you usually call as like the filler vocable. So like if you go like whoa, 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 whoa. but this one they, they go whoa, whoa. because it's their wooah, right? Anyways we, we now see it's Nana crowd surfing. But uh that was Minsa's thing before so th they're kind of like going to each other's scenes and doing stuff I guess I like the bounce of this bridge portion hmm Ooh. I, I so love the guitar in this portion. Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah. Even if no one else cheers for them, there's still at least one themselves. But, you know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are many of us cheering for them. So yeah, that was a really, really like epic song from Wua. And this just really <laughs> smacks you up and down in the face. <laughs> I mean, like... They've had this, like, uh, how would I describe their music before? Sort of like, hmm, youthful sound with a bit of an edge to it before. But this one is not just edge, it just goes hard in that chorus. 
and the, like like oh wow i i really like this so much and i don't know it just this gives you this like i feel like the next level of Fuwa. although uh going forward uh i'm not sure which direction they will go if they're gonna dig deeper into this or somehow go into a fusion of this and their old sound no, i wouldn't say old sound they, they actually have uh, had a variety of sounds already but um so it's probably gonna be i'm thinking it might be a bit more experimental going forward maybe anyways it's i i think it's really really nice that was exploring like this because um the members of wa i feel sorry the members of wa i feel uh have this ability to adapt to different types of uh directions in music probably not all the way but at least they're able to go along with some of their other members because i think this is what they were showcasing with their debut way back when when uh, i think someone commented that in their debut song each member was showcasing a different uh style that suited them and so to have these styles come together and like sort of manifest themselves across uh Ua's discography sometimes favoring one member then uh one member's style more uh than going to another member's style but each time it's not just like one member's style it's like all of them are there for it it doesn't feel like the other members are too out of place so yeah that's that's what i like about it of course you know that's that's just the way it comes across to me this uh my personal opinion and my personal opinion is that i like it i really really like it so yeah i think that's it for my reaction to Ua's pom 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 uh really solid track i actually am not sure if this is the title track or is this a pre-release i didn't do any research prior to this it just uh kept popping up on my feed and then like fine i'll move it up the schedule and <laughs> okay yeah here we are so it was a surprise for me but a really really nice surprise so yeah so I think we should wrap up this reaction right here. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also feel free to check out my Patreon, where I also post reactions to longer form content, more casual content, most of which is available for free. You can probably see the titles pop up here on the side. There's also some bonus perks set aside for those who are kind enough to subscribe, such as access to my K-drama and anime reactions, which incidentally, you can also access for free for seven days as that is tier one of my patreon and it has a seven day free trial so you might want to well try that out also higher tiers of my patreon get various levels of early access depending on the tier as well as priority when it comes to recommendations but don't get too fussed about all that like i said most of the stuff on my patreon is available for free so don't be afraid to check it out. The link to my Patreon is in the description down below, as well as a link to a spreadsheet where you can more easily navigate and access the said free content on my Patreon. So you might want to start with that first. The link to that is also in the description down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on this amazing and epic journey with Wuwa. Until next time, 
have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video bye for now